Happy Friday. Back to I don't know. I don't know. I vacillate, or not vacillate, I, I kind of lily pad throughout the day between following the feeling of knowing and then places of uncertainty and not knowing. And living in the I don't know and, and living in the uncertainty is just experiencing life on life's terms. If I, if I classify it as uncertain, I am a less judgmental of the moment because if I, if I begin to anticipate great, everything's gonna be great, I might be disappointed and have an expectation and everything, you know, or disasterize and, and then everything's crap. But if I go in with I don't know and I'm uncertain and I'm, you know, even excited about a scenario of uncertainty, that's what I'm bringing to the moment. Maybe some uh, blissful naive day. <laughs> um, but the experience, the experience of just having the experience, the experience of living, breathing, <sighs> can that be enough? I mean, I get afraid. I get afraid throughout the day. I just do my best to take the next indicated action. Things don't always, <laughs> things don't work out and things work out. I'm not getting what I want and I get what I want. It's just, I don't have, it's, very, it's always a challenge. I think for for we as humans to not take the world personally, to not take this life personally. I mean, light, this life for each of us is personal, but we don't have to take the circumstances personally. They're not happening, and that's difficult sometimes for me to step out of that and under and, and oh. What that person's doing is not to me. And some people, sometimes, look, sometimes they are doing it to you. You're not crazy. But are they really doing it to you? Sometimes it may, it, it may even be personal and not about you. And that's the interesting part of this, like stepping out of that, taking it all so personal idea. And it's mandatory that I look at things that way because I will make it all about me and poor me and victim and all this mopey stuff. It's kind of old, that's old behavior for me to not take an unreturned phone call personally is growth. It's just like, okay, well, that's, that's that. That person told me they were gonna call me and they never did. Do they hate me? No, they just, maybe they're in a busy life or maybe they're used to the platitudes or I'll call. And if I really want to call them, I can call them. And if they don't call me back, then they're not supposed to talk. Then we're not supposed to talk. It's when I build narratives and storylines in my head that I give a lot of credence to about why and who that undermines the value that I have for myself. Somebody's actions don't dictate who and what I believe about myself. They may have in the past, and it was not successful for me. It's not a recipe for nurturing self-love if I am jumping from, you know, like to validation to like to validation. I, it's mandatory for me to build esteemable acts for myself to be able to stand in my own light, my own big light that comes from my heart. That if I quiet my head enough, I can listen to my knowing and feel it. And it's not easy. And I get confused about it. I'm like, oh, is that, oh, did that, uh, I get confused. I, 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 am, I am dyslexic and I get confused about head and heart 
wait, what did that say? And then it sounds the same, the voice and... I don't know. The innocent, tragic beauty of life. The experience. Happy Friday. Much love.